Yo, what's everyone saying? Welcome to my 2,000 subscribers Q&A. Oh, hold on a second. Yo. Yo, what's that? Oh, three? Yo, what's everyone saying? Welcome to my 3,000 He's done it! Huh? Four! Again? It's Emil Haskin! It's five! Yo, this better be the correct one this time. Like, I'm not doing this again, honestly. This is the last time I'm recording this, yeah? Cool. Yo, what's everyone saying? Welcome to my 5,000 subscriber q and I know you guys have been asking me for ages. It's been a long time coming still. I was meant to do it for 2,000 subs and then I quickly got to 3,000 and then 4,000 and now 1,000% we're doing this video. We're not delaying it any longer. Before I go through the questions, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone, obviously, for subbing and liking and sharing, commenting, doing all that kind of stuff to spread the channel, innit? So without further ado, let's get straight into them questions. What video has been the funniest to record apart from the Neonthes video? One of the ones that I enjoyed most was when I did the how to be the most like annoying FIFA player when I had that guy in the suit and then I had my regular guy and they were facing each other. I thought like that was so fun to record. But at the same time, there's been a few episodes of Golden Balls where both people have completely snaked each other in the party chat that have been hilarious to record. How much to make sure the horse hair doesn't appear in any more videos again? Uh, let me just check my pocket for you. Hold on a minute. Let's see how much change we got in here. Um, no amount of money, my guy. Your horse head is where it's at. The horse head is here to stay forever. That's it. Come on, man. You think this horse head is going? After the icons is packed, me. No, no, no. The horse head is going nowhere, my guy. Who's the best FIFA YouTuber of all time? Congrats on the 5K, my G. Thank you very much. Of all time, it's got to be KSI, isn't it? The pioneer of everything. He's like where it started. I think those rated division ones, the pro clubs, the less talk FIFAs. As much as I enjoy watching AA9 and Nep and uh, Nick Runderfoot Market, Chris MD, among others, like nothing can beat that prime era KSI. Do you like Norway? I mean, never been there, but I'ma say yes, isn't it? Why not? You're sub to me, you're a nice guy. Will you ever come to Norway? <laughs> Maybe man, if you lot give me enough YouTube money, it's sure thing man. Who is your favourite Norwegian player of all time? In case you didn't notice, this guy just happens to be from Norway, innit? But to answer your question, um, who is my favourite Norwegian player of all time? Um, one second. I'm gonna have to go with John Arnarisa. All right, next, please, no more Norway questions, man. All right, cool. Do you think you'll ever quit YouTube? That, see, that's a bit of a tough question here, because at the moment, obviously, everything's popping. The last month or so has been mad. Hundreds of thousands of views, thousands of subs, all that kind of stuff. But whilst I'm still in my last year of uni, I have no idea how things are gonna go. I'll be honest, if I'm able to make a comfortable living out of YouTube, for sure, I'll rather do that. But for now, as long as it doesn't like negatively impact my uni studies, I'm happy to keep going. As long as you lot keep enjoying it, that's what's gonna motivate me to keep going in it, so. It's up to you guys, isn't it? I just need 10 seconds of shine. There you go, bro. You get like three or four seconds. Hope you're happy. Are you really a king? I'll let this video here do the talking. Surely that's not. That's not who I think it is, is it? Is it? I don't want to sound too hyped in case it's not. There's no way. I would not have just been like, I'm in you. No, it is. This guy is a king. Yes, yes, yes. Bro, that is the guy. That's the guy. Yes, king. Honestly, since I started streaming, the funniest thing has been when I go into other people's streams and... You're kidding me, fam. Really, really, fam. Really, really, really. Now, now, now. Now is the best time to come and do the bins, bro. Where you been all week? When I jump into like people's streams and stuff, and people just start going, whoa, like, is that the real him? Like, is that, are you the guy from the Nepenthes video? And I start creasing. I'm not a king, I'm not famous, I'm not any of these things. What software do you use to edit your vids? I'm literally a broke boy. I literally use iMovie on my Mac. It's free, don't pay for anything. Even my thumbnails, I make them on PowerPoint. I don't have any Photoshop or any of this Adobe nonsense. I did a video when I was in Netherlands, like last year, about how I record it and how I edit it and blah, blah, blah. So you can check that out if you want, cheeky little plug. I don't know why I'm putting there as well, because nothing's going to be coming there. It's probably going to be like, up. Who is your favorite player in football? My guy Pierre Emerick, about my blood clot, yeah, and that guy, love him too much. If you see my tweets from, well, my normal account, innit? From back in the day, like 2013, 14, 15, you'll see me just raving about this guy, saying like, I just wish he would come to Arsenal one day. Who is your favorite player to use on FIFA? This year, 88 Royce. I wish I did the 90 or the 91, but your boy ain't got coins like that, so I'm stuck with the 88, but he's a savage. Left foot, right foot, he's finessing that top bins. I think we already know what mine is. 
to be honest with you, bro, I don't. It's gonna be either something to do with you packing eight or 10 iPhones or something to do with my do-rag or anything silly like that where you're gonna mock me in it. So I don't know what one you're referring to, innit? iOS or Android? Come on, man. What kind of question is it? We ain't no broke boys out here. I know I said I'm broke, but I'm not that broke to be using Android. Do you know what I mean? Like, have some respect. Is there CCTV camera footage? No, 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 no. They'll be sending you snaps here. You're looking like some Minecraft pixels. No, please, please, please. And if you've got Android, please don't dislike the video. I'm just joking, yeah? And it's not that bad, innit? It's, it's alright, it's alright. Would you rather quit FIFA, quit YouTube, or pay 10,000 to be able to use them both? Right now, I ain't got 10,000 in my account to be able to use both in it, so I'll probably say quit YouTube, keep the FIFA, and jump on streaming because your boy's got to make a little bit of income somehow, do you know what I mean? Like, I gotta have one or the other. I'll stick to Twitch so that I can still, you know, build my brand a little bit in that, man. Pack Team of the Year Ronaldo and never get a walkout, or don't get a Team of the Year and have your luck for the rest of the year. Easily second option, man. Ronaldo wouldn't even like work in my team. The, my luck this year has been mad. We've got Icon Petit, Icon Rykard, Pogba. Salah. I can't even figure them all off the top of my head. So many like high level players that we've packed this year. I wouldn't enjoy opening packs as much, you know, if I know that I'm not getting any walkouts. For anyone wanting to grow and build a foundation on YouTube, what's your best tips for growing a channel? Um, it's gotta be grinding, man. First and foremost, you gotta grind, like. For the first 11 months, yeah, I started in January last year. Up until November, December, I was on 1.2K subs, which is very good for a first year, but it's nothing spectacular. You have to just keep going consistently. I was doing like weekly videos and just keep interacting, keep responding to everyone as you've seen. Even on my videos, I get a thousand comments. I respond to every single one because that's just how I am. I appreciate all the comments. Are you willing to do some collaborations with your subscribers in the future? I've been saying it from the start. When I was on 100 subs, you know, 500, 1000, 2000, I'm always down to do videos with anyone. If you want me to play you for your series, I'll happily do that. I've done it on a couple of people's channels. If it's my channel we're talking about, as long as their idea or whatever it is, is interesting and original, I'm happy to do it. But I don't want to do a collab with someone just for the sake of doing it. If you're a smaller channel than me, then I'm happy to help you out. If you're a bigger channel than me, you want me to be on your videos as well, because you know I'm going to be up there soon. You're more than welcome to enter my DMs. I'm coming through, Kesa, if you're watching, I'll come on your vids, I don't mind. Chris ND, if you want me to do some real football videos, mine's there as well, so don't worry about that one, innit? Why did you start with YouTube? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a long one. I've done it in all my Q&A so far, so I'm gonna briefly say it. It was match betting when I was making thousands and going on holiday to Seychelles and Dubai and all of that stuff. People wanted to know how I made the money doing match betting. Couldn't bother to explain it to everyone, so I made three YouTube videos on them no longer on my channel because I couldn't get monetized with them so I've like put them on private I might upload them again on a different channel so that you know you guys can make your monies would you rather never need to sleep or never need to eat if you never had to sleep then you've literally got 24 hours in a day you can do everything you want whether that be YouTube gym uni work there's so much you can do if you never have to sleep and you're like just awake 24 7 yeah so I'll probably say never have to sleep where do you see yourself going keep up the good work bro thank you very much the original aim for this year was 10k subs but now maybe I might boost it to like 15 or 20k because we're growing pretty rapidly that's the aim for this year but in the future I hope to hit 100k one day and be able to make a living off YouTube just making people laugh how was Colombia and why were you there um, well first of all I was there in the summertime for a, an internship. I was working there from June to July. Although when I say working, I mean, during World Cup season, there was not much work going on, I can't lie. Like we'd go into work and just watch whatever match was on. The whole vibes of the whole country was just nice. Everyone was just in their yellow shirts. It, like, Colombia was a good, good country. Like, I would love to go back there at some point like, on like a proper holiday, not for obviously working and that. And the views were just like unreal throughout. It's just a sick country, man. Like it's not like what they show you on Narcos and it with like everyone just getting you know, stabbed up and shanked like left, right and centre. Do you love the Netherlands? All right, this is like a, a world tour now. Yeah, the Netherlands was great as well. The Netherlands, I was there for a year um, studying at Erasmus Rotterdam Uni. Yeah. Amazing country. Only thing I would say is, didn't think there was gonna be a country of worse weather than England, man. When the windy days come, woo-wee. When you're riding bike to uni every day, yeah, sun, rain or snow or whatever, and it gets windy, Oh, you're going all over the place, mate. Other than that, nah, man, everyone's nice there. Architecture in Rotterdam is very nice as well, so overall, good country. Who is your favorite Southampton player? Irrelevant team, um, Nathan Redmond. <laughs> Honestly, who cares about Southampton players in this day and age? How do you feel losing 4-2 to someone you previously beat 7-1? Guess I've improved. Ah, man, come on. Like, I, I say this all the time, right? I do this stuff for entertainment, right? I beat you 7-1. 
and then I realized, whoa, you're always commenting on my videos. It would be unfair of me to go and smack you again when I play you the second time. So I was like, okay, let me be kind, not bully him. And because I had won every episode for like the last seven episodes, Invincible, and I was like, no, this is boring now. Let me get in a loss somewhere. And yeah, I just picked you to be the one to lose to, man. So what was your breakthrough point in YouTube? Oh, it's got to be the, uh, the week where I packed uh, Icon Petit on stream. And then the next day posted a net video that week was just insane that everything took off as i said i was getting like 70 80 views a day and suddenly it was on 1000 views a day or 2000 3000 some days i had 55,000 views in a day from that net video so since that moment it's been going up and up and up even like when those videos die down i still get like eight nine hundred and a thousand videos daily so hopefully there's more to come in it yes or no Yes, because we are positive thinkers, positive vibes only, no negativity. If snow is blue and 5 plus 3 equals 8, how many grapes did Mary eat on Thursday? We got 13 calories, so 13 minus 50. 13 minus 50, goddamn 47. How did you get the idea of the How To Be series? Um, to be honest with you, like on the notes app on my phone, I literally have ideas from January up until well, right now maybe August, September of all the videos I want to do, all the series I want to do and whenever a little idea pops into my head I quickly write it down and I elaborate on it because I did the how to be most annoying FIFA player thing and people enjoyed that a lot it got like well 1000 views was a lot for me at that time people enjoyed that and said they want more funny videos like that I was like alright let me do how to be net so that's basically how that came about man and then yeah now it's going to be one every month for the rest of the year thanks to you lot for constantly asking for them every single day where is the next one where is the next one who is the next one who is it going to be it's coming and the last question what is your goal for 2019 so in terms of youtube it's going to be 10,000 subscribers i did originally say 500k views but i want to bump it to 1 million views now total that would be a mad landmark to hit i feel like 20 subs would be a crazy amount to get on twitch that would be ideal and yeah just hopefully be able to entertain you guys and make you lot laugh you know i've had a lot of mad positive comments i remember one individual said that like his parents passed away that week and the net video was the one thing that made him laugh so to be able to make someone's day after something like that that's something crazy i would love to keep continuing to just entertain you guys make you look laugh in it we're just gonna take over everything man that's the end of the story 2019 we're coming to do a madness a twitter youtube twitch whatever it may be we're coming to just do bits in it i did not expect 5k at this point trust me and to be on five already is crazy man who knows what we're gonna go with this i know it's a cheeky plug in that but if you want to check me on twitch i'm gonna be there five times a week most likely just chilling with you guys and interacting in that. Let me know what kind of videos you want from me. I've got ideas still popping through, but if you got an idea, a video you want from me, let me know down below in the comments what you want. And yeah, man, I'll catch you guys in a bit.